Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is History and Sport, the story of cricket. Question number 1. In 1950, against which country the West Indies win Test Series? Option A. India. Option B. Africa. Option C. England. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. England. When the West Indies won its first Test Series against England in 1950, it was celebrated as a national achievement, as a way of demonstrating that West Indians were the equals of white Englishmen. Question number 2. What was the ironical features West Indies had in winning the Test Series against England? Option A. The captain of the winning West Indies team was a white Englishman. Option B. West Indies cricket team represented not one nation but several dominions. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option C. Both A and B. The West Indies win in Test Series against England in 1950 had two ironical features. The captain of the winning West Indies team was a white Englishman and West Indies cricket team represented not one nation but several dominions which became independent countries later. Question number 3. Bombay Jim Khanna had quarrelled with whom? Option A. The Hindu club. Option B. The Parsi club. Option C. The British club. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. The Parsi Club. There was a quarrel between the Bombay Gymkhana, a whites only club, and Parsi cricketers over the use of a public park. The Parsis complained that the park was left unfit for cricket because the polo ponies of the Bombay Gymkhana dug up the surface. Question number 4. In which year the first written laws of cricket were drawn? Option A. 1744. Option B. 1820. Option C. 1790. Option D. 1855. The correct answer is. Option A. 1744. The first written laws of cricket were drawn up in 1744. They stated. The principals shall choose from amongst the gentlemen present two umpires who shall absolutely decide all disputes. Question number 5. In which year the Marylebone Cricket Club was founded? Option A. 1750. Option B. 1796. Option C. 1753. Option D. 1787. The correct answer is Option D. 1787. The Marylebone Cricket Club, MCC, was founded in 1787. In 1788, the MCC published its first revision of the laws and became the guardian of cricket's regulations. Question number 6. In 1774, which feature of cricket were laid down? Option A. First leg before law was published. Option B. A third stump became common. Option C. Creation of first six-seam cricket ball. Option D. All the above. The correct answer is. Option D. All the above. In 1774, the first leg before law was published. Also a third stump became common. By 1780. Three days had become the length of a major match, and also saw the creation of the first six-seam cricket ball. Question number 7. Australian cricketer Dennis Lilly tried to play with which bat? Option A. Aluminium. Option B. Steel. Option C. Glass. Option D. None of these. The 
The correct answer is Option A. Aluminium Australian cricketer Dennis Lilly tried to play an innings with an aluminium bat, only to have it outlawed by the umpires. Question number 8. Which was associated with the professional? Option A. Playing for pleasure and not for money. Option B. The poor who played it for living. Option C. They considered sport a kind of leisure. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. The poor who played it for living, the rich who could afford to play it for pleasure were called amateurs and the poor who played it for a living were called professionals. Question number 9. Who was writer of novel title Tom Brown's School Days? Option A. Kim Hughes. Option B. John Middleton. Option C. Thomas Hughes. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. Thomas Hughes. Thomas Hughes studied at rugby school during the headmastership of Thomas Arnold. He wrote a novel, Tom Brown's School Days. The book, published in 1857. Question number 10. What was the reason behind the ending of the quarrel between Parsis and the racist Bombay Gymkhana? Option A. The Parsis built their own Gymkhana to play cricket. Option B. A Parsi team beat the Bombay Gymkhana A in cricket in 1889. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option C. Both A and B. The Parsis built their own Gymkhana to play cricket. A Parsi team beat the Bombay Gymkhana A in cricket in 1889. The rivalry between the Parsis and the racist Bombay Jim Khanna had a happy ending for these pioneers of Indian cricket. Question number 11. Which professional batsman for the first time led the English cricket team? Option A. Len Hutton. Option B. David Gomer. Option C. Gary Sobers. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Len Hutton. In 1930s the English test team was led by a professional, the Yorkshire batsman, Len Hutton. Captains of teams, whether club teams or national sides, were always amateurs. Question number 12. In which countries was cricket established as a popular sport? Option A. South Africa, Zimbabwe. Option B. Australia. New Zealand. Option C. West Indies, Kenya. Option D. All the above. The correct answer is. Option D. All the above. Cricket was established as a popular sport as in South Africa, Zimbabwe, Australia, New Zealand, the West Indies and Kenya or by local elites who wanted to copy the habits of their colonial masters, as in India. Question number 13. When was the first non-white club established? Option A. End of 18th century. Option B. End of 19th century. Option C. End of 20th century. Option D. End of 17th century. The correct answer is Option B. End of 19th century, the first non-white club in the West Indies was established towards the end of the 19th century, and even in this case its members were light-skinned mulattoes. Question number 14. What was the term tournament? Option A. Quadrangular. Option B. Angular. Option C. Pentangular. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Quadrangular. The tournament was initially called the Quadrangular because it was played by four teams the Europeans, the Parsis, the Hindus, and the Muslims. 
Question number 15. When was the world's first cricket club formed? Option A. 1760. Option B. 1795. Option C. 1786. Option D. 1700. The correct answer is Option A. 1760. The world's first cricket club was formed in Hambledon in the 1760s, and the Marylebone Cricket Club, MCC, was founded in 1787. In 1788, the MCC published its first revision of the laws and became the guardian of cricket's regulations. Question number 16. What was considered as the rest in the history of the Jimakhana? Option A. Quadrangular. Option B. Pentangular. Option C. Angular. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Pentangular. It later became the pentangular when a fifth team was added, namely, the rest, which comprised all the communities left over, such as the Indian Christians. Question number 17. Which team was not included in the quadrangular tournament? Option A. The Hindu. Option B. The Muslims. Option C. The Europeans. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option C. The Europeans, the Parsis, the Hindus and the Muslims. It later became the pentangular when a fifth team was added, namely, the rest, which comprised all the communities left over, such as the Indian Christians. Question number 18. Which Indian condemned the pentangular? Option A. S. A. Barelvi. Option B. A. F. Festalyar Khan. Option C. Mahatma Gandhi. Option D. All the above. The correct answer is Option D. All the above. The distinguished editor of the newspaper The Bombay Chronicle, S.A. Brailvi, the famous radio commentator A.F.S. Talyar Khan and India's most respected political figure, Mahatma Gandhi were condemned the pentangular. Question number 19. What was the reason for considering 1971 as a landmark year? Option A. First One Day International was played. Option B. India, Pakistan boycotted South Africa. Option C. First film was released. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. First One Day International was played. 1971 was a landmark year because the first One Day International was played between England and Australia in Melbourne. Question number 20. Which Australian player tried to play with an aluminium bat? Option A. Dennis Lilly. Option B. Kim Hughes. Option C. Don Bradman. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Dennis Lilly. Australian cricketer Dennis Lilly tried to play an innings with an aluminium bat, only to have it outlawed by the umpires. Cricket has refused to remake its tools with plastic, fiberglass, and metal have been firmly rejected. Question number 21. Who was Kerry Packer? Option A. Indian superstar. Option B. Australian television tycoon. Option C. Sri Lankan Rebel. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. Australian television tycoon, Kerry Packer, an Australian television tycoon who saw the money-making potential of cricket as a televised sport, signed up 51 of the world's leading cricketers. Question number 22. From where the ICC headquarters shifted from London. Option A. India. Option B. 
अमेरिका ऑप्शन सी दुबई ऑप्शन डी सिंगापुर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दुबई द शिफ्टिंग ऑफ द आईसीसी हेडक्वार्टर्स फ्रॉम लंदन टू टैक्स फ्री दुबई a more important sign that the center of gravity in cricket has shifted away from the old anglo australian axis is that innovations in cricket technique question number 23 in which year the first world cup successfully staged option a 1980 option b 1975 option c 1956 option d 1992 The correct answer is option B 1975 the enormous popularity of this shortened version of the game led to the first world cup being successfully staged in 1975 question number 24 name the indian hockey player who won many olympic gold medals option A dhyan chand option B dhanraj pillai option C gagan ajit singh option d none of these the correct answer is option a dhyan chand the brilliance and skill of players like the great dhyan chand brought india a string of olympic gold medals india won gold medals in six consecutive olympic games question number 25 the rich who played cricket for pleasure were called option a professionals option b commons option c amateurs option d none of these the correct answer is option c amateurs the rich who could afford to play it for pleasure were called amateurs and the poor who played it for a living were called professionals question number 26 who invented the polo option a british officials in india option b colonial officials in india option c german option d none of these the correct answer is option b colonial officials in india Polo was a game invented by colonial officials in India and soon gained great popularity. Unlike cricket which came to India from Britain, other games like polo were exported from the colonies to Britain. Question number 27. Where was the first hockey club in India started? Option A. Delhi. Option B. Mumbai. Option C. Madras. Option D. Calcutta. The correct answer is option D Calcutta the first hockey club in India was started in Calcutta in 1885 to 1886 India was represented in the hockey competition of the Olympic games for the first time in 1928 question number 28 what is the name of india's national game option A football option B hockey option C cricket option d tennis the correct answer is option b hockey hockey is the india's national game hockey like many other modern games was introduced into india by the british army in colonial times question number 29 who was palwankar balu option a a dalit cricketer option b a soldier option c a freedom fighter option d none of these the correct answer is option a a dalit cricketer palwam kar balu was born in pune in 1875 he was a dalit cricketer born at a time when indians weren't allowed to play test cricket Question number 30 In which year Tom Brown's School Days was published Option A 1875 Option B 
1857 option c 1890 option d 1893 the correct answer is option b 1857 thomas hughes studied at rugby school during the headmastership of thomas arnold based on his school experience he wrote a novel tom brown's school days the book published in 1857 thank you for watching the video if you'd like practice this quiz then download the wonder slate app now link in the description below if you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments if you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.